My favorite productions, I think I, I'd have to start that list right now with Hamilton. Um, I know that's the obvious answer, and I'm, I'm lucky to have played a very small part in the success of the show. And um, But the thing that people may not know about Hamilton was that it wasn't, it's not just a huge uh, commercial and cultural success, but the people who made it are excellent people. Um, and I've been lucky enough to work with them on other projects as well. So this was the culmination of a working relationship over over many years. and. To be in the room with uh, Tommy Kale, the director, and Annie Blankenbuehler, the choreographer, and Alex Lackmore, the uh, orchestrator and music supervisor, and Lin Manuel Miranda, who wrote this thing, and to be just be part of that team um, on a daily basis was it, it, I, it's very hard to describe. Uh, if you've ever played team sports, you might understand it. That feeling of just everybody sort of pulling in the same direction and achieving a common goal. All of those cliches. Uh, are absolutely true. And the feeling uh, that's, you know, when you watch a team win on television and you see the elation, and it's because they've, they, they had shared goals and they, and they worked together to achieve them, that's the feeling that, that we had. I, I only wish that people who see the project and see the end result could get, also get a sense of that environment because it was exceptional. And, um, yeah, it's, it was very special. So that's definitely at the top of the list. I'll tell you what keeps me up at night is never is feeling like I don't do a good enough job. I, 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 I guess we all feel like imposters in this business and we all feel like we're going to be found out. And, you know, I do when I'm working on a show when I'm working on a production and even after it's over, uh, regardless of whether it's successful or not, or regardless of the feedback from colleagues or from audiences, um, I am the most self-critical person in the theater. And the idea that something is out there and being seen by thousands of people a week, uh, you know, sometimes more in, in, these, in these big theaters, on um, the shows that do succeed, and that audiences are being <laughs> subjected to anything less than the best possible work, uh, it, that, that's what keeps me up at night. I get, I get a little, I get a little uh, anxious about that. Um, I try to let it go, and I try and do better the next time. Yeah, there's a certain obsessive quality to what we do, and I think that's what makes some of us succeed. You know, you, you don't you you don't tire of the pursuit of something better. I think perfection doesn't exist, I, particularly in my environment, which I like to call a hostile environment. I mean, in the live environment in a theater, you know, there's you can't win. I mean, you have to know that going. You have to know that going in. You're not going to win, but you can. You can sort of you can win the battle, maybe not the war, right? And um, uh, yeah, I, I think there's a just a general feeling of just wanting to do better all the time. And uh, I, I I guess that's what you know keeps you coming back, right? That's what you get up in the morning, you walk through a stage door, and you go to work. And as long as you have that that uh, motivation, then you know hopefully you'll continue to serve. The writers and the director and your colleagues and then of course audiences as well and that's for me the that's the job i think my dream job is actually this is so cliche my dream job is the next one my dream i like making new things uh, i've been devoted to it i think my whole career and lucky enough to be chosen to participate in making new plays and musicals and you know that's a tough that's a tough thing to do because they're completely unformed right they arrive with they arrive and develop over many years and they gestate and you have to be again willing to be uncomfortable for a long time and not know you're going to succeed um, but that's what I get hungry for and so I tend to look forward I tend to keep my eye out for new writers and uh, new material and new ideas for stories and new venues and things like that that's what gets me excited um, so my my dream play and my dream musical are the, probably the ones that haven't been written yet mm -hmm.